So Daria, um, do you have a driving license? I actually don't, and um, it's pretty embarrassing. But hopefully, I will get them soon. Don't worry, I'm 36, and I also don't have a driving license. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. Uh, well, all the tennis fans know that you are pretty hyper. Have you been even tested for ADHD? No, I haven't. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should try. Maybe. <laughs> I'm afraid of my results. <laughs> Uh, do you think your temper helps you or disturbs you on the court? Well, depends. If it's positive energy, then definitely. If I'm being negative, then no. Uh, have you ever wondered how many marathons you already run on the court? No, but probably a lot because I have long matches. Um, if you ever swear, do you do it in Russian or English? Unfortunately, in English, and then I get fined. So maybe no. it's a good idea to switch to Russian, huh? Exactly, maybe. But then my coaches won't know what I'm saying, so so it's not good. Uh, you said on your Instagram that you the food is your passion. Yeah. Do you ever do you cook yourself or not? Yeah, I do enjoy cooking, and um, I always look up different recipes and try and then make it for dinner or something. Uh, now a few more um, serious questions. Um, what is the most difficult part about being a professional tennis player? Um, probably dealing with in injuries and stuff like that. That's not fun, especially like today I had to retire. So I'm a bit upset. And But um, some players struggle with travel. I don't like airplanes, but I actually do enjoy traveling and um, I'm meeting new people and um, visiting different cities. But yeah, probably the injuries. Uh, what do you like most about the tennis career? Uh, the winning feeling is pretty good. And um, apart from tennis, yeah, traveling. Um, who would you be if you wouldn't be a tennis player? I would be a barista. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you thinking during a match point or before the match point? Uh, during... Probably I'm probably just playing the point, but before it depends. Sometimes I'm already like, oh my god, it's so close, and I get too happy. <laughs> um, maybe yeah, not much. I just try and focus on what I have to do. Because if I'm get getting too far ahead, then I probably won't win the next point. So, uh, what is the strongest part of your game? Uh, my forehand and movement. Uh, who is your favorite male tennis player and why? Uh, I like Roger Federer and David Goffin. I don't know how to say it. I've tried to say the French or Belgian way. <laughs> I guess Goffin. Um, how was the Charles Bridge at 6 a.m.? Uh, yeah, it was empty. <laughs> it was cool. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it must be pretty tough for an Australian player to cope with uh, jet lag. I mean, it's so far away from the rest of the world. Yeah, that's why I was at the Charles Bridge at 6 in the morning. But um, yeah, I got used to it. So I'm actually waking up 30 minutes later than um, than every morning. So maybe <laughs> by the time I'm back to Australia, I'll be sleeping a lot. <laughs> uh, what are the goals for the rest of the season? Um hopefully keep up um get my uh, grand slam results better cuz uh, my grand sl grand slam results haven't been that great but i've been inside top 25 for the last 2 years and hopefully i can break through inside top 15 thank you very much daria that was a pleasure thank you it was fun <laughs>